One of the biggest things that's holding black women back, all of the twerking and all of the ratchetness and the ghetto city girl mentality, all of that stuff is holding black women back. The reason why is because it's low vibrational. There is a certain level mentally and spiritually that you must stay at in order to embrace. The world is being taken over by 304s. <laughs> What's going on? Like, share, subscribe, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're gonna do. Yep. Roll that clip. Uh, Y'all are the proudest, proudest single mom hoes. We outside, I don't need a nigga women that I've ever seen. Yep. Y'all are the proudest. Like you are proud to be. I mean, I remember when you, if you did something that was that was horish, you hid that. I mean, you didn't want nobody to find out because being a hoe was frowned upon. Now it's like if you ain't a hoe, you ain't popping. Hey, if you ain't a hoe, you ain't popping. <laughs> like what? Like what? <laughs> Having morals and values. If you have morals and values, you ain't popping. It's it's like what I remember a time where you used to talk about these girls like you like what times have changed clearly times have changed but y'all are the proud hoes that I've ever seen y'all are the proudest single moms y'all are the proudest uh my baby don't need no daddy I could do this all by myself group of women that I've ever seen and I've never stood on that mm -mm, come help me with these kids come get them. See, in today's dating market and the world we live in, women are 304s. Fact. Let's not say some, let's not say a few. Most women are 304s. He ain't lying. When we look at the dating market and we look at the women that we have to pick from, they're all 304s. I might not be for 48 straight hours. Lord have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Whores, prostitutes, they all want something for their body. We've got to have money. Women are posting receipts online about dinner dates, encouraging men to spend money. As a matter of fact, if you are a man and you don't spend money on a woman, you will be shamed. You're broke. You're fucking poor. This is the world that we live in, where women will shame men for not spending money. Y'all remember back in the day when men would be shamed by women for spending money, for spending too much, for spending over two, three hundred dollars on the first date. Now it's the other way around. Women are shaming men that don't want to spend money. And it's not the fact that we have all of this debauchery going on. That's the issue. My issue with everything is women encouraging other women to be like them. It would be one thing if you said, I'm gonna be a 304 and only I'm gonna be a 304. Nowadays, women encourage other women to be just like them. So now you have where 304s are teaching women how to be exactly like them and women agree. It's not that women don't agree, women agree. And if you don't agree, guess what you're called? A pink me.
He ain't lying. We need to bring shame back. Shame has to be brought back, and I'm explaining you why. Shame plays a big part in our society and keeping it afloat. When you have shame, it creates a boundary where people are too scared to do certain things or at least tell people out loud that they are willing to do certain things because of how it's going to be looked at, right? But since y'all have started this whole don't shame nobody, don't judge nobody, who are we to judge? Because you started all of that, you pretty much open up Pandora's box and anything goes. Oh, uh, shit. Anything can't just go. Anything can't just go because when you start getting rid of shame and you allow anything to be acceptable, anything becomes acceptable. And the way humans are created, you just can't have everything being acceptable because once everything becomes acceptable, everything falls apart. And we're watching everything crumble right before our eyes because y'all have allowed too much to be acceptable. Back in the day, if you were a single mother, you were shamed. If you went out of the house dressing like a prostitute, you would be shamed. But now, everything goes. Women are allowed to do whatever they want with no repercussions, no consequences, and no shame. We live in a society where shame is reserved for men not women. Women don't get shamed. You know who gets shamed? Men. Men get shamed. Men get taken advantage of. And when men speak out, oh, you're a misogynist. You're a woman hater. You hate women. No, we're just bringing shame back. Instead of bringing sexy back, we need to bring shame back. Because women need to be shamed. We need to shame women that are three old fours, single mothers, women that are sleeping with multiple people. We need to bring shame back because that's the only way we're going to be able to restore order in relationships. And it's just like our sister said when anything goes, Literally anything goes. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like, subscribe, tickle that notification bell that will let you know whenever I upload content. And until the next one, peace. Emotional damage.